guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hakima, and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly moisturize your 4C hair. So here I am again in 4K, ready to show you guys how to really attain moisture and keep your hair moisturized for longer than one or two days. A lot of you guys have, well not a lot of you guys, some people have DM'd me, commented on my YouTube videos or Instagram videos and just said my hair never stays moisturized for more than a day or like two days. And I felt that so hard because honestly not until 2020-21 have I really learned how to actually moisturize my hair in a way that it retains that moisture. And I know there's a lot of different methods out there that people talk about, so I'm just gonna share my method. I can't guarantee it's the best one, the only right one. This is, ooh, this is just what actually works for me and what I've realized is the best method of moisturizing my hair. And it's also the simplest method. Like it doesn't really contain any products or fancy stuff. So it's really interesting, but also annoying that it's been this simple this whole time. It's literally just the liquid oil cream lock method throughout my whole natural hair drain, which has only been like five years, six years. I was saying that I did the lock method, but my hair was not being moisturized correctly. So guys, before I start, I'm just gonna insert a video of what my hair texture looks like at its most dry and also its most natural state, just so you can see what my actual hair texture is if you've never watched any of my other videos, just so you know what the hell I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it right here. So let's get into what you came here for. So right now my hair is pretty moisturized, so it feels a little crunchy. So I'm just gonna show you guys a quick before shot of my hair, just so you can see. So I hope the camera is picking this up. So I'm gonna start with a twist in the back because the back of my head is the most 4C. So I pinned away all these twists and I'm just gonna show you guys how I moisturize this twist in the back. And yeah, the root part of it is very dry, more dry than this area. And the end is also dry. Today what I'm using to moisturize and what I would suggest for your 4C hair is literally just water and optional aloe vera juice. So aloe vera juice, I don't know the science, I'm not a scientist, I don't know why aloe is that girl, but this really moisturizes my hair and I would highly recommend just getting organic, preservative-free aloe juice. So whatever you can find, look how big it is. But yeah, I just take a drop of it, more than a drop, and I put it in my water bottle. My hands are greasy. If you be lotioning the way I lotion, you know how hard it is to open things. All right, my bottle is open, so I'm gonna take some of this and pour it into my water. I just have some warm water in here. So if you don't know, I'm just assuming most people know, but LOCK stands for liquid oil cream. Shake it up. So what I'm gonna do is wet it with the liquid first and get close to your roots. So guys, whenever you're moisturizing your hair, you need to saturate the section in water. The water is the best moisturizer and moisture literally just means water. So your hair needs to be filled with water for it to be moisturized. So recently in my natural hair journey, I've realized how important rubbing the hair is, making sure the liquid and the products you're using are actually saturated into the hair. Massage it in. It's more of a massage than a rub. Hey, yo, look at that. Shrinkage shows you how moisturized your hair is and it feels very like soft. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is oil. So this is the part that used to trip me up when I first started going natural. I just didn't understand going straight in with an oil after water, but now that I do it, I'm shook that I have not been doing this. So I'm gonna use this 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil from Shea Moisture. You can use some of the lighter oils like olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, anything that's not peppermint oil I wouldn't use and I wouldn't use any oils that are too harsh. I have a whole baggie of oils here. But yeah, I use my tea tree oil for my scalp and I use peppermint oil for my scalp to promote growth and stop itching. And then for the actual strands of my hair, I use 
Jamaican black castor oil, a mix of oils. So like as I am, all these natural hair companies have oil mixes. So you can try out all those different things and you know, just see what works best for you. It's such a thick oil and I think it works really well for coarsey hair. So what you're doing right now is the water that's in your hair is gonna be locked in, locked and loaded. You can't undo this step with the oil and then that is what's gonna keep your hair moisturized. So always apply oils to wet hair. And yeah, I basically just massage the oil in until all the strands feel equally moisturized. And sometimes I'll kind of shingle the hair, so like pull it out and then take out little pieces and just rub the oil in. So look at that. Now you can kind of see all my little individual curls because 4C hair is basically just really tiny curl pattern. Like our hair is curly, it's just really tiny little baby curls. Depending on your curl pattern, your texture, again, every hair is different, but that's what mine does. What this will also do guys is expose if you need a trim. Because when I do this, sometimes I have the hairs at the end kind of just sprout out and they don't, my curls aren't defined. So that kind of tells me that that hair is damaged. You're moisturizing your whole head of hair and you're kind of like, you need to do it quickly. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't use your makeup black castor oil because of how thick it is. So I would use a lighter oil like olive oil, or a mix of oils just so you can get that oil in there quickly and move on to the next section. And now is the last step of lock, which is cream. The point of the cream step is to give you an extra lock of that moisture. If I was going from this to another style, I would add a cream to kind of help me do that other style. So the cream I'm gonna be using today is the Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream, and I'm just gonna add that to the section. And this also is helpful for detangling. So the cream um, step, is when I would detangle. I personally think you don't need to add a cream. Liquid and oil is really all you need at the bare minimum. So now this is when I would just twist my hair back up and move on to the next section. And I'm gonna turn to show you guys. So shrinkage is really gonna show you how moisturized your hair is. So guys, this is my finished twist and what she looks like. The more it dries, the more you'll be able to tell how much moisture you actually retain. The thing I love about twists or mini twists is that if I sit down to moisturize my hair, I can do maybe this whole section. If I get tired, I can just wait for another day to moisturize the rest. So lazy girl tips right there. So I'm gonna show you guys the lock method again on another section in the front, just to show you on a different hair texture kind of, just because in the front my hair is less dense, less 4C, and I would say the porosity is higher. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town, and I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. And usually, I don't do this often, but since recruiting isn't an option, due to unusual pain and thunder. My ends are rough. So now I'm going to lock with my oil.
method. Oh, I know I have this out, but I don't want to put it back in with the dry twist. But that's the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a like, a comment. Let me know any LOC tips you may have. And I'll be back with another video soon. So see you then. Bye!